For centuries, the development of other planets was a cherished dream of mankind. At the dawn of the space age, people were full of enthusiasm. Mankind believed that in the 21st century, people would still step on the surface of another planet, that the full development of the solar system would begin. Finally, in our decade, humans will set out for the distant red planet. This idea is greatly inspired by the creator of the company SpaceX, Elon Musk, and he's going to be the first to start colonizing Mars. And how this will happen, we will tell you today in this video. Currently, the flagship of space exploration is the company SpaceX, whose main goal is a manned mission to Mars. For such a serious mission, the company has developed the newest rocket of our time – Starship. Starship is a fully reusable, two-stage, super-heavy lift launch vehicle designed to economically deliver supplies and people to low Earth, sun-synchronous and geostationary orbits, as well as interplanetary flights to the Moon and Mars. The project is currently at the prototype stage and a full-scale flight to Earth orbit as well as a flight to the Moon under the Artemis program is slated for 2023. Mars approaches the Earth at a minimum distance every two years. Obviously, this position of the planets is the most convenient and advantageous for the flight between them. This event, the convergence of the planets, will happen just in 2025. At this point, the company SpaceX plans to launch two unnamed cargo rockets to the Red Planet. The path of spacecraft will be from a few months to a year. The purpose of the mission will be to deliver more than 100 tons of cargo to the surface of the planet. For example, power plants, mining equipment, machinery and more. The main task of this phase will be reconnaissance of the terrain, search for water ice and prepare infrastructure for future colonists. The next stage will begin in 2027, again when the planets come close to the minimum distance. It is planned to launch four rockets, two cargo and two with passengers on board. Several months of interplanetary flight is not an easy task because it's necessary to make the most efficient use of available space, but also make it convenient for the astronauts. It's planned to accommodate several dozens of people on board. Personal cabins, common spaces and gyms will be provided for them to maintain their health and fitness. Also a threat to the astronauts is space radiation, and a solution to this problem has been found. The ship will be pointed with its nose away from the sun, and thus all the technical facilities and non-residential compartments will serve as a shield against solar radiation. On Mars, in the area of the Arcadia Plain, the Mars Base Alpha will begin to be built. The first buildings will be power plants and special domes, inside which crops will be grown. To get protection from high levels of radiation on Mars, the base must be partially built underground. Most likely, this is one of the reasons why Elon Musk founded the Boring Company. To gain experience and develop innovative methods of tunneling, which will be very useful on Mars. Beginning in 2030, the first Martian city, called Mars City, will begin to be built. It's planned that people can walk around the planet without oxygen apparatus, but in limited spaces. Valleys of Mars, with an area of tens of thousands of square kilometers and a depth of more than a dozen kilometers, can be covered with domes of aerogel, protecting against ultraviolet light transparent to visible light and excellent heat retention. According to studies, under such a dome on Mars, the temperature would be quite terrestrial. Even a moderate amount of plants is able to provide oxygen to the population of the valleys. And by the way, terrestrial plants in the laboratory have already shown the ability to grow in the ground with the Martian composition.
According to Musk, to build a city on Mars with developed infrastructure will take about 20 years. For such a large-scale colonization, requiring sending at least 1 million tons of cargo to Mars, 100 starships would have to be built per year. It also known that a one-way ticket will cost Earthlings about $200,000. For the first few decades, the colony will be dependent on parcels from Earth, but will partially learn to support itself. People will be employed in local industries such as growing food and generating fuel from ice and carbon dioxide. The latter is needed to send ships back to Earth and reuse them. It would take from 40 to 100 years for a small civilization to grow out of the colony, during which ships with new people would come to Mars every two years. Elon Musk compares the Mars project to the transcontinental railroads in the United States. After all, when it was built, there were very few people in California, and now the state has become a technological and cultural center.